When things don't go as planned, whether it's exercising or studying, you should try to break down big goals into smaller goals and reduce the burden of achieving those goals. Practicing these two things will help a lot. Rather than vague and grand goals like raising your grades, try narrowing it down to easy goals like, for example, raise my English score by five points. And a declaration that you will definitely exercise every day becomes like a boomerang that makes you want to give up easily if you miss a day or two due to unavoidable circumstances. So reduce the pressure you put on yourself by focusing on continuing without quitting rather than doing it every single day. Rather than a big noticeable achievement, the satisfaction that only you know will keep you going. So let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with Chokje and Pegas. 조금씩 천천히 너에게, bit by bit, slowly to you. One,
Come on in, besties. Welcome back to Radio Clock. It is April 9th, Tuesday, and it's our second day of our new spring season. If you guys didn't tune in yesterday, if you guys missed yesterday's show, um, yeah, we started our new spring season. And as you could see, my little corner here has been updated with a new lamp, new table, new couch, which I'm loving. And it also means we have a brand new corner today with new guests. Um, did anyone see the eclipse today? I missed it, but I hope some of you guys got to see it. I did see a lot of pictures, um, and a lot of my friends in New York were watching it with the solar eclipse glasses. I missed out. Uh, but if you saw it, let us know. And on Saturday, we have our Corner Would You playlist with us that we only uh, revolved around our staff but starting this new season we're going to expand it and we're going to be asking you guys to send in songs related to our topic for would you playlist with us as well we're going to be picking some of your messages and songs and we'll play it for you so i'm going to tell you the topic for the weekend corner beforehand uh this week's topic is songs with flower scents um it, it, the song could be about flowers any type of flowers cherry blossom roses tulips or, or the song can have a music video that featured a lot of flowers or it can just be a song that reminds you of a certain flower for some strange reason. So send those to our send message board of our website. And I'm going to be reading a message from one of our besties now. Benny says, hello, Ash Besties and Radio Clock crew. Finally, the spring season begins. Lots of things could happen and we'll be welcoming new guests. The last six months of the current season was fun. My song request is Hal Koya, I'm Going To, by the indie singer Jung Ji Ha, who apparently is a label mate of DJ Kate Kim's Friday guest Tam Nye and Gani and Wee Wee, as well as the reason I love her tracks and even look out for her music videos. More indie recommendations from me to bring you in the following weeks. Have a great day from Benny. Yes, we're always welcome song recommendations, introductions to new artists, uh, indie artists. So let's take a listen to Jung Jia's Hal Koya, I'm Going To, and I'll be back with our guests. <laughs> Oh 
Radio Clock airs both on TV and radio at 3 p.m. KST every day. To listen to our show, download the Arirang Radio application from the App Store. If you're in the Jeju area, tune in to 88.7 in Jeju City, 88.1 in Seogipo City, 101.9 in the Daejeon area. Or you can join our YouTube live stream on Arirang Radio K-pop channel. Missed out on our live show? Don't worry, you can watch or listen to the rerun on TV and radio. Rewatch the fun moments on TV at 2 a.m. KST from Tuesdays to Saturdays and at 3 p.m. KST on Saturdays and Sundays. You can also enjoy the radio rerun at 6 a.m. KST every day. Don't forget, there are also exclusive episodes at 3 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays only on radio. much do you know about an artist? How far have you gone to explore them? How many B-side tracks have you listened to? We'll delve into everything right here on Beyond, Beyond the Hiss. This is our new Tuesday corner called Beyond the Hits. And these are our two guests for this corner. Uh, one, he already feels like a family member. He's been here countless times and he is here to stay. We have Tabid and also our other guest. It's already his fourth time here. We have Jay Chang. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Please introduce yourself to our listeners, please. Uh, well, me, I'm sure you guys are already familiar with me. I'm Tabi. I've been here like multiple times, filling yes. in. But yeah, I'm here <laughs> to stay. Yay! <laughs> our weekly guest. Uh, Jay, please say hi to our besties as well. Hello, um, I'm Jay Chang. Um, I'm also here now. <laughs> um, please take care of me. Thank you, everybody. Aww, we'll take good care of you. Mm. Um, how does it feel to join us every week now? Um, it feel, well, I'm glad that I got to come here a couple of times already. So mm -hmm. it's not too um, nerve-wracking. Nerve -wracking, yeah, yes. but, but It's always um, nerve-wracking the first time. Yeah. 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 I think um, I'm excited to, especially we get to do a lot of music talk, so it's very fun. Yes, I'm excited to hear your guys's Im, uh, input on these artists that we'll talk about. Um, Jay Chang joined us for in Music Lab for the first time with One Pack in December, and then he joined us for Koreapedia twice, and he's back after three months. I almost couldn't recognize him because his hair changed so much, mm -hmm. um, but we have something to congratulate him on. He was mm. a part of a vocal boy group survival program build up, yes. and he was the final winner. Yeah, congrats. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. I mean, it wasn't your first time doing a competition program, right? Oh, yeah. I, I have a, a good amount of experience with survival programs. Yeah. But it's crazy. the first time. Yeah, this guy's crazy. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> well, how does it feel to win? Oh, it's it's cool. Um, our members, <laughs> we, we didn't expect to win, actually, at mm -hmm. the end. Um, but um, it was a really fun experience, and everybody that was on the show was really talented, and I'm just happy that I got to experience getting to sing amidst all of these talented people. Mm. Tabi, did you watch it? I didn't. I watched clips of Build Up, uh -huh. but I watched every single episode of Boys Planet. Uh -huh. Like I watched every single episode, and I was always saying, I honestly thought you were Akawa for ZV1 uh -huh. because you are such a powerhouse when it comes to vocals yeah. and like there was no other contestant that matched you vocally so <gasps> i was like he either needs to be solo or in a group that's vocally based oh. that's what i always <gasps> said and then yeah oh I, I knew he was gonna do so well yeah in well yeah. now he's gonna be a part of the vocal group bdu oh yeah well, thank you so much oh yeah no 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 huge fan oh congrats um so you're gonna start promotions with bdu soon yes very soon oh. um i'm not sure how much i can say but um the next big thing that's coming up is kcon japan where we're gonna be able to perform some of our songs so i'm exciting. really excited for that. exciting exciting 
And of course, Tabin, he's our singer songwriter who's been consistently releasing albums as well. Uh, what were your impressions of each other, seeing each other for the first time in person? Um, very. I'm very shy, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was very comfortable, been more comfortable than usual, getting to like, have conversations. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. came into the studio and you were singing, and I was. It was so <laughs> nice to listen to. Yeah. So. <laughs> Gee, no. you're so soft spoken. I didn't know how soft spoken oh. you were. That's what caught me off guard too. I thought I thought you would be a lot more. Loud, loud and rambunctious <laughs> and like rambunctious. <laughs> that's a good word. I, I don't know. I that's. I guess that's just the. Yeah, I, I just always have that image in my mind uh, uh -huh. what is it crush's song that you first sang uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. and then he was like so outgoing and like he just shows so much personality when he performs yeah that i thought he was going to be like that a person but he was he was a lot more shy mm -hmm. which was which made me more comfortable oh okay because okay. you're yeah. an introvert yeah i'm oh. an introvert mm -hmm. hey, jay I'm are you an introvert i am oh, an introvert oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. <gasps> what, what, are, what is your my MBTI, MBTI? Yeah. I'm INFP. <gasps> Are you guys the same? I'm INFP. Oh, oh, my, gosh. oh my gosh. Yay. 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 INFPs. Wait, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Wow. How do we get two INFPs for one corner? Sorry. Per oh, yeah. I'm used to it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. I hope you guys get along well. Mm -hmm. This is perfect then. Yes, yes. it's perfect. Uh, lots of comments coming in right now as well. Hello, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Felix. Says, Felix's wife says, Jay is an INFP like me. Oh, lots of INFPs oh, out there. Oh, there's a lot of INFPs. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's talk about our new hmm. corner, Beyond the Hits. Tabi, can you introduce our list to our listeners what we're going to do for this corner? All right. So basically, I feel like nowadays, uh, a lot of the viewers' attention spans are getting shorter <laughs> with all these contents coming out. Mm -hmm. So it's, for us artists, it's almost like we don't want to release full-length albums anymore because mm. no one's going to pay attention to every single song. So a lot of artists opt for singles instead of uh, EPs mm -hmm. or full-length albums. And what we do on here is kind of highlight uh, the lesser songs that don't get as much attention nowadays mm -hmm. from uh artists that you guys are probably all familiar with mm. when you guys check out albums do you guys listen to everything in chronological order or do you guys just listen to the title song mm -hmm. and you're like eh. personally i really love listening to albums cover to cover mm -hmm. on my first listen because it kind of gives me an idea of like what went into Ooh. right like that kind of creation and yeah um but i i do agree that for the most part there's a lot of times where you know b-sides do get kind of swept yeah. under the rug and yeah yeah i think that's a very important point because these albums they're not just a bunch of songs put together mm -hmm. they're curated they're all compiled in a way that makes sense it's a it's literally a body of work mm. Mm -hmm. it's art <laughs> yeah and people don't realize that sometimes and they just skip along but if you if you haven't done it i highly recommend you just listen from track one all the way to track whatever mm. and just see the flow of how the music you know transitions from one to the next how the vibe changes and it'll, it'll be a whole new experience i promise yeah. please do not on your first listen of an album please do not press shuffle i beg oh shuffle. yeah don't <laughs> You gotta or listen to it in chronological order. That's what the artist intended. Is that what you? What, yes. What you do yes. As well? I'm glad we're all on the same page. I yeah. have we to listen it. to everything. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I want to know just not just the title song. And sometimes the B-side tracks are better. Oh yeah. Right? Like oh, a lot yeah. of the times. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we are going to dive into an artist in particular today. You guys know who it is. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how you guys would describe this artist, but I would say a musician's musician. Musician's ah. musician. Mm -hmm. I would say retro. Retro. I would okay. say retro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jay? I would, oh, I think that's a good way to put it. Like a, like a musician by musicians for musicians. Ooh. Yeah. For the musician, by the musician. What is it? For? For. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, for. You know what I mean? Anyways. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. I get you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's check out who today's topic is through this picture right here. Da-da-da. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. It is Miss P. 
Pegerin, mm-hmm. Yerin Peg. I mean, you guys agree with everything we s- described her with, right? Artists, artists, retro. Uh, this is a picture on Namu Wiki, which is kind of like the Wikipedia of Korea. But uh, for this site, anyone can make edits and um, add to this page. The most mm-hmm. recent edit was done on 2024, April 5th, so oh. not too long ago. Oh. Okay, so let's introduce her um, like basic information, her profile. Yes. So uh, Jay? I'll call it out. Okay. Okay, name. J. Ah, uh, <laughs> Peggy. Date of birth? 1997, June 26th. Ooh, mm. nationality? Korean. <laughs> Hometown? Suwon. Ooh. Okay, height and blood type? 165 centimeters. I'm not sure what that is in feet, but she's a B. Blood type. Oh. Mm-hmm. Pea blood type. Okay, uh, family relations. She has parents and an older brother. Oh, okay, education. Taejeon Taepyeong Jodunghakyo, Chunghakyo Chorop, Hamnyak, Hangnyak, Kamjong Goshi, and Hallim. She went to Hallim oh. for high school. Yeah. Oh, that's, okay, okay. that's very big. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, company. Blue Vinyl. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And she mm. was a member of? Member of the Volunteers oh, band. Oh, she is a member mm-hmm. of, and she was a former member of? 15 and. And duo. when did they debut? In 2012. <gasps> wow. Wait, that was, 2012? That means she was like, what, 15? Yeah, maybe Hence 15 and. Uh, oh! oh right. <laughs> I totally that makes forgot. Sense. Oh my gosh, debuted when she was 15. It's been over Dang. 11 years. Oh my gosh. It's crazy because wow. she was, you know how she was in JYP for 15 and? Yeah. She was there for 12 years. 12? 12 years. 12 oh years. Dear. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, after seeing her profile, is there anything that like matches with you? Anything that similar oh I, I thought you meant her picture and i was oh, gonna no. be like that <laughs> no. was clearly taken with a digicam and i was like i'm, I'm very much into the digicam aesthetic oh uh, i'm i'm also blood type b so kind of proud that we're both blood type b's mm. uh, yeah. nothing i don't i don't <laughs> nothing in common anything. oh she's there's... infp oh her mbti is also infp oh how do we miss that okay is mbti on? is infp oh my god there's something in the air today a lot of musicians are infps Oh, what is it about INFPs that make them good musicians? I felt it's easier, well, for me, I felt it's easier for me to express the way I feel through music rather right. than through words. Yeah, oh. because we tend to overthink and we really, yeah. So I think in general, we take the emotions that we kind of shove down mm-hmm. and overthink and then we kind of express it through music. Wow. Yeah, we're very yeah. sensitive people. Very sensitive people. Okay, I How see. How about that? I mean, that's great for fans and for music lovers. Lovers, right? Yeah. Um, so yes, as you saw, she debuted in 15 and in 2012 with Park Jimin, and then now she has left the company. She's pursuing her own music style, um, and yeah. How do you remember which song made you really get into Pegerin as a solo artist? You know what? It's gonna sound a little bit strange, mm-hmm. but it was actually a cover for me cover of yeah, yeah, which yeah. song which which is funny because i actually saw her pre-debut videos mm-hmm. a long time ago before she came out on 15 and mm-hmm. and it, i think it was uh, uh pixie lots uh cry you out oh yeah that song ah. i saw that and i was like oh my gosh her tone of voice like her voice tone is just angelic mm. so i've always been keeping an eye on her since then pre-debut mm. and i've been following her career since oh how about you, Jay? Uh, I'm a lot more recent. Uh, I, about maybe a year ago it was. I have like one of the members of my group BDU. His name is Beat Seon. And about a year ago, he introduced me to Peggy Erin uh-huh. um, with a video of her performing radio by the volunteers at a festival. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow, like she's really good. And this is like kind of music is very... Um, Personally, one of my favorite styles. So, oh, yeah, that's right. when I kind of 
Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, so yeah, we're going to learn more about her B-side tracks today. If uh, any of our besties have their favorite B-side tracks by Pegedin or a song you'd like to recommend from hers that's a B-side track, let us know. Uh, we're going to listen to a song by Pegedin. Uh, this topped the music charts, and she even won the Korean Popular Music Award through this song. It's 그건 아마 우리의 잘못은 아닐 거야. Maybe it's not our fault. Diving into artists here on our new corner called Beyond mm -hmm. the Hits. Uh, there are lots of comments about Pegedin. If you guys can, um, if you guys see anything you want to read, uh, please do so. Let me see. Oh man, I found one before. Oh, Geek Diggy says one thing to say about her: so many artists in Korea sound alike, either on purpose or by coincidence. Pegedin's voice you can pick out in a crowd; no one sounds like her. That is so mm -hmm. true. Her voice. We mm -hmm. were even talking about how does she sound like that, you yes. know, like while we were listening to her songs. Mm -hmm. uh, any other comments? 
oh man there's a mm. lot it's well you know there are a lot, a lot of people like oh she's so pretty like the music's so pretty like her but I, I find it crazy how much of an image shift she went from 15 and mm -hmm. and then when she went solo she went hardcore I'm gonna be rock I'm gonna be in a band I'm gonna get like <laughs> tattoos like she's kind of the it girl she's she got is. she's got that vibe going on yeah. like she's right. so cool she's mm -hmm. a fashion setter like trendsetter yeah, yeah. she's very fashionable uh, Stacy says I recommend I am not your ocean anymore one of my favorite b-sides of hers okay uh benny says two b-sides that i like dear my blue and blue yeah lots of blue, blue in her title and numbers too like dates right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. there are dates uh she has a lot of songs <laughs> a lot <laughs> yeah like a she has lot. a lot of songs yeah mm. a songwriter yeah, she's a songwriter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A musician's musician, <laughs> yes. as we said. All right. To get to know Peggy a little better, I've prepared a TMI quiz for you guys. I oh. have the answers. And whoever wins between you two will have the choice to pick the artist we dive into next week. Sounds good? Okay. Oh, we get, we get choice? Yes. We get dibs? Oh, you okay. get dibs. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. So if you know <clears throat> the answer, raise your hand and scream out your name. Okay, don't scream too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Say your name. Okay, number one. Pegetin appeared on the program Star King in 2007 when she was 10 years old. She appeared as a 10-year-old blank genius and won first place. What kind of genius did she appear as? Uh, Tavit? Tavit? Singing genius. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that easy. 10-year-old blank genius. Prodigy. It's 10 year old blank oh. genius. The word in the blank is a genre of music. Oh. Hurry, guys. Jay. Jay. 10 year old jazz genius. Oh, no. RB genius, Tabi. No. Hey, you gotta scream out your name first. I. <laughs> Tabi, trot. <laughs> <laughs> really? They're getting singing trot? I don't know. She wasn't Starkey. She was much younger. Okay. Mm. She's saying, I have nothing, nothing. Nothing. Tabit. Actually, this is not oh. the same genre, though. Okay, Tabit. <laughs> not that. I was going to say so, but now that you said no. that. Oh. Musical? Nope. It's J the most popular genre in Korea. J. J. Ballad genius. Yes. Ballad. Your Shipse Ballad Chunje. 10 year old ballad genius. Your Shipse Ballad Chunje. <laughs> yes, um, 10 year old ballad genius. Okay, one point okay. for Jay. All right, second question is Peggy watched the documentary of this group <laughs> and felt their freedom wanting to share that feeling with others. So she formed a rock band of volunteers. What is the name of this group that she watched a documentary on? Documentary. Is it, can we get a hint? Is it Korean American? No, it's British. Oh, British? British Ooh, modern British rock. Modern yes. Modern rock. Mm hmm. British modern rock. Yes. Oh, modern? Yes. Um, from England. Uh, from yeah, England. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my god. Modern gosh. rock from England. <laughs> We're so bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you find this in the middle of the desert. Oh, uh, the tabi, tumbleweed. Tabi? Sorry? Jay. Tumbleweed? Yeah. Sorry, no. Jay. Jay. Oasis. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Jay oh. is rocking this. Tabi, what's going on? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I'm I'm going easy on Jay right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's what it is. Well, you yeah. only have. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. All right. Okay. Two to zero. Number three. If you search for Pegetin in the Korea Music Copyright Association, how many music compositions has she been oh, involved in oh, as of October 2021, including lyrics, composition, and arrangement? Of course. The one who gets closest, comes closest to the number, will win. So we're including band, full-length albums, remix, album featuring, uh, songs that she participated in. It's under 100. That's it's for sure. It's under 100? Yes, okay. under 100. Uh, um, I'll say, I'll go first. Okay. 63. 63? That's okay. a good number. Jay, how about you? Let's see who gets closer. I'm going to go... 91. 91. What? Okay, 63 uh -huh. and 91. The answer was 82. <laughs> so, Jay Wait. Chang, you're closer. Am I closer? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Math is hard. Uh, but Jay, it was closer, so congrats. 82. But this wow. is like officially uh, um, wow. since 2021, so I feel like there's probably more now. A lot more has been added. Oh, mm. okay. I, oh, I didn't know how many albums like the Volunteers had. Oh, I guess they have two full-length albums. Yeah, then. same. That must wow. be, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Oh, so, so a lot of our listeners got really close too. They yeah, said like 85. The They're the winners. Yeah. Okay, number four. Pegeri, known for covering songs, especially showcased her tremendous vocal abilities by covering this song by Crush at the age of 18. What is the title of this song? Tabi. Tabi. Kakum. Ding dong ding. Oh. Yay, finally. I remember, I specifically remember this moment. Oh, you do? It was during her two-year hiatus. Uh-huh. And uh, it was after 15 and, and then she took a two-year hiatus. And I was like looking forward to what she was going to do. Uh-huh. But she was not releasing anything. But yeah. then she started releasing some cover songs. And I was like, oh, man, this is like really good. And then uh, I remember, I think Crush did something with her because mm-hmm. of that. And then she released her album. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I specifically remember this moment. Wow. Yeah. wow. It's got 31 million views right now. Um, oh, and yeah. it hasn't been officially released as like an audio, but it's there on YouTube. So you can check it out. Okay, three to one. We have one last question, though. Should we make this uh, like a tiebreaker? Sure. I mean, not a tiebreaker. Should we make, should we give this extra ten points? points. <laughs> give us ten points, yeah. <laughs> ten points? Ten point bonus. Okay, I mean, Jay, you're the winner right now. You're winning Let's right do now. It. Double it's or okay? Nothing. Okay. Double or nothing. All right, number five. In February 2020, Yedin Beck had Peg Yedin held her first solo concert titled Turn On That Blue Vinyl. It garnered attention as approximately 4,400 tickets were sold wow. out in a very short time. How long did it take for the tickets to sell out? Jay. Jay. 34 minutes. Oh, it's much shorter. Tabi. Tabi. Ten seconds. Oh, a little longer than that. Jay. Oh. Jay. Five minutes. No, shorter. Whoa. Tabi. Um, Twenty seconds. Oh no. Jay. Yes. One minute and forty seconds. No. <laughs> it's under one minute. Oh no. Um, Tabi. Yeah. Uh, forty seconds. <laughs> no. Jay. Forty-five seconds. Oh my God. This is harder. Up, down, down. Down? Yeah. Down. A lot more down? No. Tabi? Yeah. 41. (laughs) Jay, 30 seconds. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Oh, Oh, it's 30 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Ding dong ding. Wow. We're so bad at this. No, I would have been terrible at this too. It's hard. (sighs) But Jay Chang, he got, you got 13 points now. Yes. Uh, we don't. We, okay, we don't have to put it into perspective. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jay is the he winner. Won. Okay. okay. Jay the is winner. the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> right. I thought you didn't know Peggy didn't Peggy didn't that well. You just oh. discovered her like last year. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good job. You get to choose the artist we talk about next week. Awesome. Okay. Congrats. Thank you. Now we're gonna check out the B side tracks that Jay and Tabi brought today. So let's begin. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna show you guys this first B side track they both chose. So let's see on the screen. Do do do. First one. Oh, it's right here. Tabit's oh. pick is See You Again, Our Love Is Great, released mm-hmm. in 2019. And Jay's pick is Berlin, Every Letter I Sent You from 2019. Mm-hmm. Aha. All mm-hmm. right. So let's start with the song Tabit hmm. chose. Which song was that? Uh, it's Chikyo Jukke, mm-hmm. See You Again. All right. Let's yeah. hear it first. Ooh, it's putting me in a good mood already. Yeah, I love this. I just want to go outside for a walk. <gasps> All right, so give us the basic info on this song. All right, so this is from the 2019 EP, Our Love is Great. Uh, I think this is the first same EP from the song we just listened to uh, a while ago. Mm-hmm. And I believe this is the second EP, but it's the first EP that she released after leaving JYP. Oh. So it did have a lot of significance and I picked this song just because it's a very retro, rock, soft rock kind of happy song. Mm-hmm. And I just really like this kind of melody line. There's like na 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 na
the melody line mm-hmm. just really hits home for me. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> How did you first discover the song? Actually, my friend introduced this one to me. Because ah. uh, we always, I live in Incheon mm-hmm. and I drive a lot. Mm. And on my drives, whether I'm with a friend, we always listen to music right. and we always talk about music. And I remember my one friend is obsessed with Pig Edin. Mm-hmm. And she was giving me all these recommendations like, you have to listen to this one. And immediately, this was like that driving song, ah. that driving song on a sunny day, you know. Going across Incheon, <laughs> seeing the ocean on your right side. Mm. Yeah. Lots of traffic. Yeah, with the yes. windows down, uh-huh. your dog in the back. <gasps> and That's a vibe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Jay, now the song that you brought in, Berlin. Yes, Berlin. Let's check it out. <clears throat> so after I, um, my young introduced me to Big Eddie, the first mm-hmm. album that I listened to was Every Letter I Sent You. Yes, this one right here. This one right here. Mm-hmm. Berlin. Is there a reason why you like this song in particular? This song in particular, I really love that kind of like bedroom music, kind mm-hmm. of like. Oh, I like that. Like yeah, like like you just sit down, play, and record. That mm. kind of feeling, I really love. And and when I heard this song for the first time, um, it kind of reminded me of my youth for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but. Like it does kind of capture her essence, though. She is kind of like. Her own entity, you know, and that's very difficult in Korea to do without a big company backing you up mm-hmm. uh, and get that mainstream, you know. But she left, did made her own label, Blue Vinyl, mm-hmm. and she's just kind of like, as you said, doing writing songs in her bedroom mm-hmm. and like just putting out these like bangers. Mm-hmm. So I, yeah, yeah, I think this is very Yerin I love of that. her. Mm-hmm. Yes. I love just putting on these type of songs in the background too when mm-hmm. I'm just like getting ready for bed and stuff. Um, all right, so th- those were the, the first B-side tracks that Tabit and Jay brought. Okay, let's check out the next two songs on the screen. So Tabit's pick this time is Radio by The Volunteers from 2021 and Jay's pick is I'm Not Your Ocean Anymore from her album Tell Us About Yourself from 2020. Hey, didn't Jay mention the song radio before? Yes. Yeah, right? Wait, no. My pick was I'm not... Oh, it's flipped. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. flipped it's around. Flipped. I was like, wait, wait, oh, wait, did I pick that song? Sorry <laughs> about that. Jay's pick is radio, the volunteers, and uh, Tabi's pick is I'm not your ocean anymore. All right, let's talk about radio first then as we yes. listen to the song. Tell, uh, play the song radio for us, please. Okay, so tell us the basic information about this song. This song came out um, I believe in 2021 mm-hmm. um, on the self-titled track uh, album, The Volunteers. And um, yes, this was the first ever song that I heard from Peggy mm-hmm. And I, the reason why I fell in love with this song is because one of the first lyrics that she says was, um, she believes in God, but I'm living in hell. And I thought that was an amazing <gasps> line. Ooh. Yeah. That was, oh, that's Ooh. deep. Yeah. Ooh. I was like, okay. <laughs> she can okay. write. <laughs> wow. Oh, that, that so just carried up some weight. Yes. Yeah, that just like punched me in the gut. It did. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's those are your favorite lyrics. Do you have yeah. like a favorite melody line or? I really like, like uh, it's playing right now, but mm-hmm. the, this part of the song, um, like I found myself for days kind of just humming it over and over again, mm. especially the guitar, uh, the guitar riff. Oh. Yeah. This kind of band music is definitely one of my personal favorites. It reminds me a lot of the kind of music I listened to growing up. So, mm. yeah, this mm. is one of the main reasons why I kind of fell in love with picking. Mm, okay. Um, Bahar says, did you know it references her song, His Ocean? Oh, we did not know that. Uh, as Sil says, is the volunteers a band or a group? It's a band, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. It's a band. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and the song that Tavi brought was Pegedin's I Am Not Your Ocean Anymore from yes. her full-length album, Tell Us About Yourself. I think someone mentioned that this was like their favorite song, mm-hmm. and for a good reason. Uh, it's, it's a very ambient song, for one. Uh, I would recommend it to, mm-hmm. on a night stroll, maybe. Not during the daytime, but maybe during the night. Mm. But if you hear, like, in the beginning, there's like the... It's just only the drum, and then like you're just flooded with uh, this like ambient music, and it just kind of 
takes you on a journey mm. and you're on a sailboat and you're just drifting to who knows where. Yeah. I don't know, that's just kind of the vibe that I get from this. And yeah, it also has a saxophone solo in it, Ooh. which I, I love saxophone. I love saxophone. I, something about saxophone just makes everything a little bit retro. You mm -hmm. know, like that kind of like Kenny G kind of yeah. like. Yeah. 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 You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love that she just like uh, every genre with her voice sounds good, like city pop, like ambient yeah. music, like this mm -hmm. jazz R and B. So she does everything. Yeah, and this one is actually all in English, by the way, mm. the whole entire song. She has two full albums that are yeah. all in English. All right. Bilingual queen. <gasps> So right. all of our international listeners can enjoy it even more. Uh, we listened to four of the B-side tracks that they bro both brought in. And there was actually one more song that they both picked. Did you guys know? No. You guys picked the same song. Oh, what? And um, so, yeah, Tabit's going to sing it for us. Oh. Surprise, oh, is it already surprise. Time? Yes, it's already. It's almost it's already over. Time. So, guys, the best part of our new corner, um, Beyond uh -huh. the Hits, is that every week... They're gonna do a cover for us. It was gonna be one member at a time. So this week is Tabi, and maybe next week be next week will be Jay Jang. Hmm. So you guys have to tune in. Um, but Tabi, which song are you singing for us? I'm gonna be singing a song called Zero Three One Zero. So I believe it's a date, March 10th. Yes. Nobody knows what March 10th means. Mm. Nobody. Yeah. But there are a lot of speculations. Right. The fans are trying to like figure out what the date is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tabit and Jay Chang both chose this song and mm -hmm. Tabit's gonna sing his rendition of it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to hear. Tabit, are you gonna stand up and sing? <laughs> Tommy, oh you got this. Oh, no. You did amazing during rehearsals. Yes, it sounded fantastic. Yes, oh. everyone, a round of applause for Tommy. Let's Woo! get some claps. Okay. All right. So this is oh, Tommy's hmm. cover of Peggy Dean's zero three one zero. You smoked and you looked at me I hate it when you do I said no thanks to you You asked me if I was okay What if I wasn't? Living is fine It's just I don't wanna be All by myself again every time Like every last time You knew that I was no good for you When we lay down After doing that thing you love You knew that I wasn't better for you I hope that I can be seen Really fine with you Tell me how 
Side to you. That was amazing, Tavid. Our listeners are loving mm. it too. You should see all the comments oh. pouring in right now. They love this segment. Mm. They love your voice. They say, Moon said, that's amazing. I'm levitating. Uh, Geek Diggy says, sorry, Pegadine. This is Tavid's song now. Oh, <laughs> stop. No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Do you know, the Pe- thing yes. is, I was, okay, the reason I was even more nervous for this oh. was because. <laughs> Jay was literally here. Oh. What? I've literally. The, he, the, he is such. He is. He is a monster of a singer. Like no. every you guys time, are both his mouth great opened. in your own ways. Okay. I know, but like I just, I just wanted yes. to make a good impression, <laughs> and I'm honored to finally was, have heard that kind of soul for the first time in person. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Uh, we're gonna say goodbye. Uh, next week we'll be covering an artist that Jay Chang picked since he won, and we'll be listening to the song that got. Uh, Jay into Pegging for the first time, radio by the volunteers, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Cool. Bye-bye. My mama told me to go to church every Sunday. She believes in God, but I'm living in my only friend I barely hear from Told me I could be the one Who could save the earth Playing on the radio If I have the answer I wouldn't say it I would let them learn by themselves If I have the solution I wouldn't say it